I want to make a distinction between being your best and doing your best. And I think it's really, really important to do that because you can only be your best once in your life. You only get one best at everything. You only get one best bench press. You only get one best two mile run. You just get one. Even if you have a bunch of them that are close, there's only one best that you get. And that's all. So if you're constantly focused on your best, your best, your best, and I think you should try to, to have really, really high bests in the things that you do. But that can't be all that matters to you because you only get one, one day of your life. And that's all. That's not enough for me. So, my answer to that is, if I cannot, and my, many of my bests are behind me. My best bench press is behind me. I will never be able to do better than what I have done. My best is behind me. My best two-mile run is behind me. You know, my best game of golf is behind me. My best game of racquetball, et cetera, et cetera. Those are behind me because of my age and my condition. I still don't want to not do those activities. So I don't have to do my best. Here's the point. I don't have to do my best. I'm sorry. I, I, I misspoke. I don't have to be at my best to do my best. There's the point. Every day, I can try my best at things. I can give the best effort I have right now, right here, every day. I can go bench press today and give it all I have, the best I have. Now, will it be my best ever? Nope, not by a long shot. Should I feel bad about that? No. No, you only get one best in life at everything that you do. But you can have daily experiences of doing the best you can every day, all day long. You won't be at your best, but you'll be doing your best. And that makes life so, there's a lot of those. There's a lot of things today you can do. You can do your best going grocery shopping. You know, don't wander around, you know, maybe maybe focus in, go here and go there or plan it out. I mean, there's, there's <laughs> not, not, not saying that that's, that's an important thing, but things that are important. And f in fact, the more important it is to you, the more you should strive to, to do your best even if you know that you can't be your best, even if some of your best efforts and best days are behind you, today you can do your best all damn day long. All day you can do your best at everything you do. You can drive a car to the best of your ability. There's a book called Zen Driving. It's, it's a tiny little book, but it will change the way you get into a car. I, I suggest you look it up. I have everybody that I train read it. Not so they can be better drivers, but so they can do everything in their life better. So that they can so that they can be present and do their best at whatever it is they're doing. Even if it's driving or doing their grocery shopping or spending time with their kids or training or anything. But the more important, I think that uh, the more important the thing is to you, like if it's spending time with your kids, yeah, I think you should try to try harder to be at your best. If you're washing dishes, you don't have to necessarily be at your best for that. But you could, and you could change the experience you have. And sometimes it's worth it. I've done it. I've washed dishes the best I could. So the point is this. If you're hung up on on thinking that you that only your bests matter in whatever it is, your best bench, your best grade on a test, your best whatever, it doesn't matter. You put, you can fill in the blank. If you think those are the only things that count, and we get that way, especially in our sport. LeBron James is a basketball player at this time. I don't know when you're going to watch this. Hopefully thousands of years in the future. But right now there's a dude that plays basketball better than anybody. And he doesn't have to go out every night and try to score more points than he did the last night, every game of his life. 
He just has to beat people, and he does. And I think he's not at his best. He's probably functioning at about 85%, and he's able to beat people. He's that good. But in powerlifting, every time you compete, every time you compete, you're trying to do the best you have ever done. The next competition, you're going to shoot for another best, another best. So in our sport, we can really get caught up in this only thinking the best ever matters. Personal records, you've heard of that, PRs. And yeah, that's super important. And don't, don't think I'm in any way uh, trying to minimize how important that is, to strive for your highest achievement. Not at all. I'm just saying that some of us can't always continue and continue and continue to do better than our last best, to produce a new best. Should we give up? Should we stop trying then? If I know that I can't bench 700 pounds ever again, should I just stop benching? Maybe. Um, but maybe not. Maybe I can still get rewarded by doing my best today when I go into bench or whatever I do. Paint my, paint my wall, plant my garden, cook my food. All of those things I can do my best at and be rewarded in such a way that even though it's not the best plate of scrambled eggs I've ever made, I did the best I could this morning. And if you keep this attitude, and you, you can still pursue your personal records, but at some point, especially if you've achieved a lot already, the more you have already achieved, the harder it is to continue to do better. And I don't think we should give up and quit at that point. Just because I can't do the best ever, I can do my best today. So I want you to embrace this attitude of doing your best today at at least some things that you care about. Maybe everything. Maybe everything. Wouldn't that be a great way to live? Some of the Zen B Buddhists think that we should live a life of meditation, constant moving meditation. Everything we should do should be the same way as if we were sitting on a cushion. We should live meditation. That's a, that's a tall order. And, and, and doing your best at everything you do is a tall order. But I would start with picking a few things where you say, even if this isn't the best uh, round at the range that I have with my 9 millimeter. I'm going to try to hit the target every time I fire. I'm going to try to have a really good grouping. I'm going to try to do my best. Even if it's not the best day I've ever had, I'm going to do my best. And that is going to enrich your life, period. At least in those things that you choose to do. And the more of those things that you can do, the more rich your life can be even if you're not the best you've ever been. Even if, if some of those things are behind. And I will tell you this. A guy that's way smarter than me told me this when I told him what I'm telling you. He said, well, J.M., you don't know what's in your future. You don't know what's going to happen to you. There could be a lot of things that happen to you in your future that are the best ever that you have ever done just by circumstance. You don't really know for sure about some of the things in your future that could be awesome. So, if you're not in the practice of always doing your best, when that one day magically comes together, I don't want to use magic, when that day comes together for you and it's offering you a best ever at something and you're not in the practice of doing your best all the time, you could miss it. That's what he said. Smart guy. Smart guy. I'm talking about all my best being behind me, and I'm okay with that, and I'm just going to do my best. But he said, oh, oh, no. No, be careful. Some of your best are still in front of you, and you don't know which ones. Now, I can pretty much count that I'm not going to bench more than I ever benched, but there's lots of things in my life I could still have not reached my best potential in. And if I'm not in the habit, he says, of, of, of doing this thing I'm talking about, of, of trying your best, even if you can't be your best. 
then when that opportunity to break a, a personal record in something that you didn't expect pops up, because that happens in life. Life is like that. You won't be ready for it. It might slip by you. So he was agreeing with me in that we should do this thing where we, we are always trying our best. We're giving our best effort. We make that a habit at lots of things. And then we will be prepared for when that day comes for a possibility of a new personal record in something else that we weren't expecting. And so he agreed with me that this is a pretty good idea and a pretty good way to look at things. But I like his perspective on it. Smart guy. And I'm adopting that belief that some of my best are yet to come. Not everything is behind me. I'm not dead yet. And I don't know what the future is going to hold. I don't know where they will be. So I am personally going to take the practice of doing my best in a lot of things. And when that opportunity then comes to hit a personal record at something, I'll be ready. I'll be in practice. So think about that. And, and don't worry about always having to be your best and set a new record at everything. I definitely think you should still be pursuing those goals in your life. And I hope you didn't hear me say not to do that, because I didn't say that. I'm just saying that if some of those are behind you, you can still have the reward of giving your best effort. And that's a pretty good way to live, I think. So I hope that uh, is something that you think about. And uh, thank you for listening. Thanks.